And welcome back, everyone. It's now time for another edition of the Sunday Sit Down right here on Fox 54. And we've got a special group of guys in the studio. It is members of the Huntsville Havoc hockey team here in the Rocket City. Now, before we get into this, I have to go ahead and say this. The Havoc have a very special relationship with Sports Extra because Coach Glenda Tulio was our very first guest which was the night after he won his first SPHL championship. Coach, if we go all the way back to that, what was that 24-hour span like? Yeah, I mean, I think we talked about it. Um, you know, we were trying to get some players here, and they couldn't make it, obviously, because they were having a pretty good time. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a whirlwind. Um, you know, we won the first one on the road, so we were coming back from a pretty long road trip, and um, just a lot of stuff going on, and people wanting to, you know, whether it was interviews or just fans wanting to get around us, and, um, you know, the players celebrating. It was it was pretty hectic, but, um, man, it was a lot of fun, for sure. Awesome. Now, of course, and now we're getting ready to roll into a new season. You're coming off a pretty solid season on Unfortunately, you didn't get to the ultimate goal, which was winning the President's Cup. But it just goes to show you there's a lot of parity in this league because the teams that were what, the eight and the three seed played for the championship this past year? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's hockey is one of those sports. You just got to get yourself in the playoffs. And um, you're just trying to time it where you're playing your best hockey at the right time of year. And, um, you know, our series are short. You know, you get a hot goaltender or, or a couple timely goals. Things can change pretty quick. So, you know, for us, we just want to be in the mix every day. We feel like if we're knocking on the door, um, off Often enough, you're going to get it done um, at some point, and, and the goal this year is to make sure that uh, we've got a competitive team, and um, you know if we can peak at the right time, you know we'll be right there at the end again. All right, you got one of your veterans on the team now, Tyler P. and Centennial, and Ty. I know you've been a part of these championship runs. You've been part of the rebuilding structure through these couple of years, man. How do you feel about the growth of this team and what you've seen it through your eyes? Yeah, I mean since I got here day one, it was obviously. Winning that championship my first year was pretty special, but I think each year, you know, the coaching staff, Glenn and Sue, they do a great job bringing in good guys and good players. So I think each year, you know, this year coming up, I think we're very excited to see the guys coming back, but also the guys that are coming in for to try to get a spot after training camp. Now that you're a veteran and that people are going to be looking upon you from a leadership standpoint, are you just itching just to get back on the ice and try to get another President's Cup here in the Rocket City? Yeah, absolutely. I think right now it's the time of year where, you know, when October comes around, you just you just want to get, get back into things. So a lot of guys are very excited, I know. So we're very excited to get it going. Now, Coach, of course, the Huntsville Havoc fans have been so supportive. Of course, Huntsville has been literally the top team in the SPHL when it comes to support from the fans. And when you got mascots like this behind you as well, helping things go, it always just helps out and works out perfectly. First of all, can you talk about one of your two mascots? Because, unfortunately, we couldn't bring both of them in here and like the process that they go because I heard you put them through a rigorous training <laughs> <laughs> exercise and everything too. Yeah, I mean our mascots are, are a part of a lot of events and uh, you know we got to make sure that they're top notch um, physical shape just like our players so um, you know we've got this guy running stairs, lifting weights, uh, you know doing all kinds of crazy things to make sure that you know when um, we have the home opener he's ready to go and you know we know the players are going to be ready to play but we got to make sure the mascots are ready too. Tyler, what do you think? What can you add to that? Because I'm yeah. sure you guys interact as well. Yeah, no, I mean They've obviously been great. I know the kids love them, and it's great to have them around, but they're definitely in top-notch shape. So us players, you know, the coaches expect us to be in good shape, so we expect them to be in better shape. Awesome. Now, of course, Coach, as far as the um, the team in general, we talk about the fan engagement, but also they're like some very, very great um, special nights when it comes to the different themes. Of course, one of my favorite ones I've enjoyed uh, when I come to a couple of games, I, I enjoyed the Power Rangers night where you guys had the special Mighty Morphin Power Rangers yeah. editions. Of course, I know y'all had like a Harry Potter night, superhero nights. I know you have to focus on the game, but was there ever, any one of them through your years that you just kind of stand out and like, this is like really, really cool. We're doing this with the hockey aspect. Yeah, I think the one that jumps out was the, the year we did Ninja Turtles. Um, you know, we actually had, like, the real Ninja Turtles in the lobby taking pictures. Um, I think it was, like, dollar pizza slices. I mean, the place was sold out. Um, just unreal energy in the building. Like, that's one for me that I remember um, vividly. And then, obviously, the, I think the ones for me are just the, the, the big um, nights like Melissa George and St. Jude Night and um, the ones that were raising money. It just seems like um, there's always some really cool stories with the fans and meeting players, um, you know, buying jerseys 
these for, I mean, crazy amount of money, but it goes right. to a great cause. And then there's always some side kind of stories to it where somebody buys a jersey for somebody else and surprises them. And so those nights are always, always pretty special. But I mean, our office staff does a tremendous job of coming up with some pretty creative um, ideas and, and, you know, new themes. Um, and then really cool jersey designs for us to wear. So it's always fun every year. There's going to be something different for us to do. And, you know, we're excited to, you know, check it out and, and see what's on the schedule this year. And, you know, we know the fans are going to love it. Cool. Tyler, was there any particular one that was like your favorite through the years? Uh, I'd say probably the Melissa George night or the military night. But as Coach said, I think it's obviously it's pretty special. And when we're playing for something bigger than just, a hockey game you know you raise a lot of money to a great cause and it kind of gives us players something to really push for we might be tired but to know that we're raising money for something that means a lot more than just a hockey game it's pretty cool okay. and just on the final note of course coach we're getting ready to go into training camp and the season literally starts in a number of weeks what do Havoc fans look have to look forward to with this team with the guys you're keeping and the guy the new guys you're bringing in yeah, I mean, you know, we're lucky that we're going to have a pretty good core guys coming back to camp, but, um, you know, we feel like we've recruited some really good young players that, A, are going to, you know, push some of the returning players to elevate their level. Um, you know, we thought we had a tremendous regular season last year, and, and we know we're going to be a team, you know, when teams look at us and seeing all the returning players, expectations are going to be pretty high. So, um, you know, we're excited to get into training camp and um, really, you know, really have a competitive atmosphere where, you know, the returning guys um, aren't too comfortable. They're, they're getting pushed, and then these young guys are hungry to get, you know, roster spots. And, um, yeah, just excited to build a team and, and start a new adventure with them. All right, looking forward to another spectacular year with the Huntsville Havoc. We've got a coach, we've got a player, and we've got a mascot in the building talking about how things are going for the upcoming season. That'll do it for the Sunday sit-down right here on Fox 50 Sports Extra. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>